Hi guys, it's Jamie. So, I'm going to go do a thing today. Last time I had a haircut was in September of 2019. And that is when we went to New York. Me and my sister, we had a girl's day and we went and got our hair cut. So, got all spiff, spiffy for our trip to New York. Four years, guys, my hair has not been cut in four years. And the good thing about it is, is my hairdresser knows me. Sorry for the sunlight. Yes, it is pretty in sun, but Jesus, is it cold today. Uh same hairdresser ever since she started cutting hair. I've been going to her, guys, I'm 51 years old. She has been cutting my hair ever since I was 17. When she was going through haircutting school at the Votech school, I was, I guess what you call her, guinea pig. Because, <laughs> you know, back in the, the 80s when you're in high school, you know, you rebel and you do crazy things not as crazy as what people do with their hair now but she has been my hairdresser since we were in high school and she still cuts hair i worked with her uh down at the restaurant when uh, both of us worked down there at the restaurant so you know we know each other pretty good so i'm just going to go in and say girlfriend it's time for a change i want you to look four years guys four years years of not having a haircut and I'm getting older I'm going through menopause women you know this when you go through when, uh, menopause your hair splits it gets dry it gets brittle it breaks off it thins out so I called her the other day and I said chick it's time for a change what are we gonna do she said well just come in at 12 o'clock and we'll figure it out so that's where I'm headed to. So I'm taking a me day today. Uh, I might dash after after supper. So I just got a lot of things at the house I need to get done. And yeah, I know guys. Uh, just want to say one thing. And I've learned this over the last three, four weeks. Every since I left that toxic workplace, I'm in such a better place. Mentally, physically, uh, financially, you know, I am in such a, a better place in my life. Yes, I know there's still going to be a little ups and downs that comes in and out, but as far as my mentality, I'm not as stressed out as what I used to be. I'm not snapping off at the drop of a pen. And yeah. So guys, just remember, you make your own life. Life doesn't make you. And I got that quote from CJ Faison. He said, you know, you make your life. Life doesn't make you. So if you're in a toxic relationship or if you're in a toxic workplace find something get out of it because your mental health is i really don't want to get my hair cut look how long it is your mental health is the most important thing in life because if you're not happy with yourself you're not happy with anybody so that's my little preach today well, I wouldn't say it was a preach. That's my little advice. Because if you just could imagine me and the stressfulness that I've had, and even Amanda over at Amanda's Budgets even, even noticed it. She said, in your videos, you sound so much happier. And I, I was always like, don't be a, down, a Debbie Downer. Well, you know, I was a Debbie Downer and didn't even realize it until Amanda pointed that out. She said, hey, girl, you sound so much more happier in your videos. And I am. Things are finally looking up. And I'm almost to my hairdresser's place. So I'm going to cut this video and I will pick it back up when I come out. And you all can see what I've done with my hair. So... Stay tuned.
it's gone guys every bit of it's gone what do you think she done a good job on it i told her what i wanted and she went straight for it i said i want bangs and short layers leave a little bit of the link 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 i can't even talk now so i'm just kindly hoping my husband ain't a little bit upset that it's shorter than what it was but you know what i'm older i'm tired <laughs> i've always got it pulled back in a ponytail and i'm just like you know uh, let's just go with the flow let's do something different let's make ourselves make ourselves feel pretty whether it's getting your hair done going and getting your nails done which guys look i've actually got original fingernails because i quit biting them after i left that toxic work place speaking of that she used to work here with me right i reckon today they went down there this morning well this morning uh they had their power turned off at the restaurant store so evidently they don't have the money to pay their electric bill hmm. such a shame too they've lost a lot of business after and i'm not saying this but after new management took over that place has just lost all kinds of, all kinds of customers and that's because they don't treat people with respect they absolutely do not treat people with respect and it's sad it really is sad uh you got one owner who i love to death his name is you know um stephen and I, I love stephen to death i you know if the other owner would go away and stephen would just run it and he would call me and say hey i need your help i would be right there in a heartbeat really and truly i would so yeah it's, i know i can't I, I'm trying not to look at myself while I'm doing this video while I'm at a red light, which I can, because I'm, I'm just amazed about my hair. I'm, I'm usually not one for curls. I'm usually one that likes it to be straight, but you know what? I love it. I'm just, oh, and it feels so much better. It's so much softer. Got all that dead off of it. But anyway, here it is, the brand new me. So, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.